check check loud and clear good day my dear friend first time newly baked second officer this video is especially for you and all guys who forgot everything they studied when going to new rank don't worry it's always like this so before departure from port you must prepare a passage plan usually second mate that you're going to relieve already keeps departure passage plan ready for you but if no then watch this video carefully Okay, let's start, with, let's start quick passage planning. Open one Ocean Passage Manager and select Routes and Passages. Then select Quick Route and choose Port of Departure and Port of Arrival. For example, from New York and going to Panama Canal. And then press create quick route. It takes some time, but not very long. And here your route is ready. If you have all charts and publications, you already can export this route from one ocean and import to Agdis. But still you will require some adjustments of route on Agdis and of course some paperwork. I will explain it in a few minutes. If you want to order chart, charts and publications first, and after to make route already on Agdis, then in one ocean select ENCs and digital publications. If your ship is not paperless, then select uh, paper charts and uh, publications. Also to choose charts and to make orders. Okay, let's select ENC for example. If you know an area where you are going to sail, ports location, then you can choose chart that will cover your route. If you don't know ports location, you can select ports icon and find them there. Let's choose the charts. Select catalog. You can see all the charts and choose them. And the same like you used paper charts catalog before. Okay, so then knowing approximately where your route is, you need to choose charts that you need and add them to basket to make order. So you just simply choose it, highlight it by yellow color and then press add to basket. So then when you add your product to basket, select basket icon in the top right corner, then there will be all your charts you need to order. So if you have no idea where your ports are located, uh, select port icon. Type in the find port window the name of your port and it will show you its location on the map.
as you can see such way is right along so then let's come back to quick passage plan once again uh, select routes and passages and then quick route and choose uh, ports of departure and arrival okay here also you can choose what you want to avoid on the way like some straights or channels uh, we don't need to avoid anything so we'll continue create quick route take some time so okay the route is automatically created so you can check your points here okay press save route then press create passage okay in open windows here you can choose which charts and publications you are going to use In passage items you can tick which items you need. If you don't need paper items you can untick it. Then in NC window you can tick the charts you need. The program does it automatically, selecting all charts on the route. But better to tick all charts, especially if you go into order and then remove uh, from basket menu uh, those charts that you we will not going to use so yeah better to tick all charts when all needed items are selected press add to basket button so products will be added to basket and proceed to the basket open basket here you can find all your passage items that you don't have in outfit or that are due to expire and you should make the order. So here are different windows for publications, CNC, paper publications. So how to order and update Eggdis and One Ocean you can watch in my other video on this channel. So now come back to root and passages and save this passage. Root and passages and save passage. So now you need to export created route. Go back to overview and select saved routes. Save routes. And choose your route and press export route icon. This one export route. In open window choose your egg this type. We have GRC. Extension is selected automatically, like RTA. If you have uh, newer GRC 9201, uh, select CSCV file. So then choose a location where you're going to save the file. So usually this is USB drive and press export.
Okay, now put USB drive into your like this and import your root. We have here all GRC 901B like this. So go main, file manager, select USB drive. Yes, your file and copy to local disk. Yeah, a little bit dusty. Yeah, it's also part of your job. Keep, keep it clean. Okay. So when file is copied, open it in the root planning window. So on this, like this, you should go root, root planning, table editor, then open your root file. Plenty roots, try to find. Oops, we cannot find it. What happened? The matter is that in all GRC XDs the file name must not be more than 8 symbols. That's why we need to rename the file and to type not more than 8 symbols. Ok, let's import it again. Domain, file manager, USB drive. Yes, here it is. Copy. Close, then go to root. Root planning, table editor. And open file. Here it is, yes, now it's OK. So press view sync to jump to your root. Sync. And you need to adjust your waypoints. Because one ocean doesn't make it perfectly. But sometimes does. Okay, in this example we don't have charts. I will choose another route to continue explanation. Okay, so let's say we order charts, install them, or we had charts already, and now we imported the route quickly made in one ocean. As I said, it's not perfect. As you can see, it's not fully correct. Now we need to check it. Adjust, add, move, delete waypoints, like start from birth, avoid anchorages, and etc. Switch to graphic editor and start adjusting your route, complying with all regulations and using different scales. So, some information you can find in uh, digital radio signals that I will show in the end of this video. Yeah, and according to them, according to sailing directions, just just your waypoints. Just like that. Also important to put additional uh, waypoints uh, for this pilot station even if you are not going to alter your course. 
it's convenient will be for you to calculate ETA. plan must be done from birth to birth Switch to table editor to change uh, turning radius, cross track limits, uh, speed, and other parameters. Such parameters like speed you also can adjust uh, in one ocean passage manager, but uh, better adjust here and then it will transfer the same. One ocean passage manager. Uh, it's important to change speed because uh, in passage plan in one ocean it will influence in your uh, UKC underkill clearance calculations. So better change all these parameters here. Also time zone will be good to change
and you need to import it back to one ocean passage manager to make a passage plan. So once again with already corrected root. So press import root. Then actually you can adjust here also in all these tables your speed, uh, even coordinates and waypoint names. But if all okay, just continue, just uh, save root and create passage so and again uh, tick passage items that you need charts publications also also it's good to write corrected etd it's uh, here in the top and departure Ports. Usually it shows the same. Uh, yeah, because automatically it input date and time when root uh, was created. And if you prepare it beforehand, like day before, for example, if you stay uh, at port several days. Several days. Uh, so just uh, right here uh, time of departure that was given you uh, you by planner just estimated time of departure and uh, it will be then all, all this all your waypoints all uh, arrival eta to your each waypoint then will be calculated uh, refer to this ATD date and time and it will be there okay so now save passage and create passage plan When all is done, it takes some time. Okay, so now you need to fill up all required data so that the indicators on all these windows from the left here uh, glow green or yellow otherwise it will not be possible to complete the process so you need to go to all these windows and fill up the data some data like uh, length overall all this this already goes automatically it's if if it uh, already input in settings yeah and here you need just to change your drafts and air draft and freeboard and also don't forget to ask chief mate uh, for this block coefficient. So here uh, you can go also to this layout uh, and there you can choose uh, which of these um, windows here yeah, that will be mentioned in your passage plan. 
I don't have example video, but there is also uh, uh, such tick boxes where you can tick. And for example, if you don't want that in your passage plan later, were like uh, usually some, for example, AO, AIO notices, then you untick, and there will not be in your passage plan when you will print out. Okay, continue. Here in this window, you need for each waypoint, you need to fill up uh, all these small windows. You can select all if you have some data like safety contour or safety depth yeah, of, or, or, or on all the way. Yeah, this is what you input in HD settings. Then you can choose all your uh, just all, all your uh, these waypoints and right here your figures and then it auto automatically will be in all these uh, waypoints if you want to uh, put specially some figure for some waypoints you just click on one waypoint and change for this waypoint Changes for this report. Yes, for like, example, like this. Now we press. Okay, automatically some figures also go here, and this minimum depth takes from charts. But sometimes it's not showing correct. Sometimes it's showing even zero, and you need to choose some depth that is much more from your draft so check other windows some of them no need to fill up some of them uh, work automatically here only you need to make some changes in radio contact. Yes, so in this column, uh, if you have some new port, you can press this cross and just write pilot station or port control. Here write channel and then uh, create it here, then press on it or on already existing existing uh, writings press just press this arrow and it will go here and here will be this information regarding radio contacts and it will be in your passage, passage plan so everything what from here from this uh, in this right window will be in your passage plan okay when everything is complete the button generate passage plan will become active so press it and passage plan will be created here it's not visible very good yeah but uh, this one this button will become green the same color and you can proceed. Yeah, sorry, I don't have enough video material to show you full process of filling, but there is nothing difficult. And finally, you have uh, after generating passage plan, you will get it in pdf format so then you should to check it if all okay and print out and sign and give captain and other officers for signature also This 
is how it looks hard copy okay actually that's it uh, but um, actually before passage plan also of course you have to check admiralty digital radio signals oh actually all adps uh, digital publications so like volume 6 to find detailed pilot information bts information port information and just that what i was talking about when you was adjusting your waypoints so you need already to know all this information that you know where you allowed to go or not allowed and which reporting you must to make whom to call whom to report come back also let's check tight tables so here let's find your ports and check information high level low level tights you can choose the date check volume 2 uh, there you can find time zones in your ports so very important usually before departure if uh, you have different time zones before um, between ports you need to put in ETA calculations already time zone of your port of arrival and during passage advance or retard time but uh, you need to keep it your like this uh, time zone of arrival port just correctly to calculate correctly uh, your ETA Yeah, let's check volume one three four five it goes together so here you can find navtech stations weather fax stations search and rescue radio stations so here you can find all this msi for your dc tests and just if you need to call somebody in emergency everything you can find here and list of lights here it used to know navigational light and fog signal information okay, check the details of this light Also, don't forget to check sailing directions and other ENPs. You can use Admiralty ENP reader for it. Yeah, 
let's open EMP Admiralty Reader. Yes, and here you can check all your publications. You can check which are expired or which are preceded by new edition, which are cancelled. But actually, you can open ENPs already directly in one ocean. Uh, it has new ENP button there. So here we can see by areas which area your ENP cover what you need. Yeah. And actually here this new ENP. Just check in your one ocean on C drive directory that in folder publications uh, there were all these ENP PDF files. Then if it will be there then it will be activated like also uh, blue and green and you can just press here and uh, it will open directly in one ocean. So here you can check. You see this uh, showing red means or expired, but here expiry date is okay. It's just cancelled. So there is old, but still no new, and uh, this problem here that you cannot cannot open it even to to check old one, but in one ocean you can open. Okay, for example, just let's check another one, how it looks like, just electronic copy of paper book. That's it, and here you can check all your information. Alright, thank you for your attention, I hope that I gave you some idea of passage planning and you became a little bit more confident to do your first step in your rank. Good luck, good voyage.